Welcome to this SQL interview series of Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss about the difference between where clause and having clause. So most often in an interview the interviewer will ask you that what exactly is the difference between where clause and having clause. Where can you use these two clauses in SQL. So in a nutshell you can say that we use where clause to filter the elements based on some specific criteria on individual records of a table. For example we can select employees based on their first name and in this scenario we will always use the where clause because we have to put the condition and the condition can only be given in an SQL code using this where clause. So let's go and see an example. So we'll go to our SQL workbench okay? and the simple example of the where clause would be something like this that we will use the employee table here. So simply we'll put select star from SQL interview dot m okay where employee name is equal to Atul. Now if I run this query, you will have all the records where the employee name is Atul. So if you think about it, the where clause is only useful whenever you want to filter your records based on a certain criteria, right? Now, if we talk about the having clause, we use a having clause to filter the groups based on the values of an aggregate function. So for example, we can group the entire data based on a particular department and then we can only select the department that have more than one or two employees or more than 10 employees. So to do that, we can use the having clause. So let me show you the other example here with the having clause. So what I'll do is that I'll simply put select email ID, this employee table, okay. And then with this email ID, we have to use an aggregate function. So let's put count of email ID, okay, as number of email ID. And then we will give the group by clause here to group my email ID and get the count. So if I run this query, you will get the list of all the email IDs and the count of email ID. But having clause is used to filter the groups. This is the group. So there are five records that has atul at the rate email ID.com and we are grouping the email ID and we are getting the count. Now, if you have to put a condition saying that get only those records which is greater than two or greater than three, then you have to use a having condition having this count of email greater than equal to two now if i run this query you will get only these two records because it's appearing more than once or more than twice so in nutshell you can say that the having clause is specifically used to filter the groups based on the values of the aggregate function here the aggregate function is this count function so this is the specific difference between the where clause and the having clause. If you want to learn more about SQL interview questions, you can click on the right hand side of this video. Or if you want to learn SQL from scratch, you can click on the left hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.